And hello, guys and gals. Uh, this is Dennis Brown coming from what uh, is usually my studio, and it is right now a um, wedding storage place. I'm getting married in about a week and three days, and uh, second time's charm. But uh, that's why you see tools, and well, you can't really see because this is blocked by this. But still, um, I'm here. I've been kind of busy. But I got a new guitar in, and I wanted to do um, a little review. It's not like it's a new model. You can't get these hardly anymore. They're phasing them out. But if somebody's looking at once, you know, at one used, uh, it's nice to, to get a review and find out what it is you're getting. And what this is is a um, limited edition. The only thing limited is the it's the um, uh, Shoreline Gold um, uh, Telecaster HH. It's a 2018 model. Um, it has the belly cut which is you know kind of nice um i think a little overrated but you know it's kind of nice uh for those of us that have a big belly um and it's got two humbuckers and i'm normally not a fan of uh fender humbuckers i think that fender single coils kill it i'll, I'll take fender over even duncan or or dimaggio any day when it comes to single coils with humbuckers my history has been, there's been certain ones like the Enforcer. I really, that's what came in the Pawn Shop 51. And I thought the Enforcer was a really rock solid uh, humbucker. And, and when you would split it, it, it was just a great humbucker. And um, and this came with humbuckers. And I fully, I bought it expecting I was going to just yank these out. And um, I get sent a bunch of humbuckers for testing. And I would use it as a test bed. Um, but they're actually, these are actually pretty good. They get mixed reviews but they're actually um, pretty good. We're gonna, running through a Marshall at 40 watts, the full power uh, uh, DS, uh, uh, DSL 40 CR, um, just really clean channel everything at 12 o'clock. And I'm also gonna run a little bit dirty through a Blues Junior, cause that's a pretty common amp. Um, and just kind of let you hear it. Um, you can see here, best thing to do is to always pay attention, cause I forget to tell you where we're at. the fact that the Marshall is bright um, you wouldn't think that but it's actually brighter than my fender amps and it's a good amp I, for clean I, I'm getting to where I, I almost like it better than my hot rod deluxe and and supersonic and you know and, and you know I really get where I like it um, so if you're running on a fender amp it, it's probably gonna sound a little bit more mid-rangey than you're hearing there let's go to the junior <laughs> Um, uh, 
I don't know what to say other than that. They're, they're not great, but they're but they're good. You know, they're pretty solid. If I had to pick this up and go out and go to a gig, I'd be I'd be okay with that. And um, I could make it work. Um, um, just so you know, I told you I'm running at five. You know, basically on five on everything on the Marshall as far as the EQ is concerned. On the Junior, I've got like the mid range all the way off. I've got the bass on like two or three, and I've got the treble up to about seven, which is uh, which tells me this is pretty thicker maybe than my than it's sounding. So just kind of be aware of that. You you would probably have to EQ it brighter. <laughs> but not great they are a little warmer than average like I say I'm having to kind of use a real bright amp and another amp set up to be bright to kind of get them out so if you like warm sounding pickups you'll like them as, as they are um, I'm a bright guy I'm used to playing you know mainly telecasters you know single coils and stuff so I like you know that Buck Owens <laughs> You know, that just really ear-piercing uh, Albert Collins ice pick uh, kind of bright. And it's not going to replace your... It's not going to replace your regular Telecaster, but it's... Uh, sound I, I, I think uh, overall pretty good um, now we're in the middle by the way you get kind of a pedal steelish kind of flavor out of that not bad you know if you if you are trying to get a bright sound you could probably fake that Getting on the neck. That's not pedal steelish, but it still sounds good. In the middle. On the neck. I mean, on the uh, bridge. It, it's pretty good. It's not bad. For a little chicken picking. In the middle position, I think, gets more of a traditional telly sound, oddly enough. You know, you, you can you can twang with that. pretty good just for grins and giggles I haven't sound checked this in and uh, but let's hear the Marshall with a little bit of game <laughs>
that's on the bridge, of course. Let's go in the middle and see what happens. <laughs> It has a, a kind of a cool ratty thing going on that I, I'm, I'm digging it in the middle, I think more than any, and I like the bridge and I like the, you know, the, the neck okay, and, but I'm kind of digging it in the, uh, uh, in that middle position. <laughs> trivia that's mother freedom the song almost none of you know that song that's okay and they didn't play it that hard um not bad let's try it on the neck <laughs> Too muddy, a little muddy, but not not bad. I think it's a solo. <laughs> not bad on this one that's going to vary from guitar to, to guitar so I'm, I, I really you know this the sound should be the, the same I mean Fender while I'm not always in love with their buckers they're pretty good about being consistent and meaning that if you lined up 10 of their guitars they they you know of their Mexico guitars and better they should sound the same if they're the same model I mean, more or less you know wood and there's other variances but uh, <laughs> I wasn't as impressed with the finish, which I think is kind of a B minus. There's a lot of little flaws and stuff. I bought it. It was like uh, open box clearance, clear out, blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't have paid full price. I think full price was 600 bucks. This is the standard, which is the old before the player series came out. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's 21. That's what makes it 21 frets. Now they've gone to 22. And eh, I don't, I don't get up in that territory. My fingers are getting too fat, my old age, anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> with the gain um, it, very credible with the uh, um, clean sounds in the middle I think is where it really shines because it sounds like a true bridge between single coil and humbucker
like that. Anyway, there you go, folks. And uh, that is the listen to the Fender Standard Series HH, not the blacktop. Let me clear. I don't know how to make that clear earlier. Blacktop's a whole different thing. Just the HH series, which came in a bunch of weird colors with the standard tuners and the standard CNAC 21. Everything is pretty standard except for the belly cut and, and just being humbuckers. Other than that, it's just it's it's pretty much like a standard before the Plager series came out. So thanks again, guys. I hope this has been helpful for those of you looking at one used, perhaps. And uh, and just for the record, I paid 400 for this. It was 600 on sale for 500 and the open box was uh, 400 and um, and I still have the original strings all I did was lower the pickups because they were way too high and, uh, and that's all I've done so you're hearing it bone stock thanks now